Merry every day. Woo! Celebrate every day, every now, every moment. Merry every day, everybody. Thank you so much for coming to visit. Oh, what a beautiful surprise. Thanks, guys. Yo, welcome to the smoothie party with the crew. These thistles are so sour. So bitter. Ding, ding. Cheers, Santa. <laughs> nice camel. camel you got there. What's up, snowman friend? Yo, pumpkins. Merry every day from all of us. Cheers. We're going for purely plantains. I'm just intrigued to know if it's less bitter. It must be. Those thistles are crazy sour. Just like, yeah, makes your mouth and your face screw up. <laughs> There's the little seed things. Pop. Chirpy, 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 chirpy. Here's the apple juice. Look, your chirping is lovely, but you're almost so loud. I'm trying to make a video. Cheepy, 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 cheep. We're gonna do this all day. <laughs> the advice, eat more greens, or drink, or blend, or whatever. More greens in your life is always great advice. There's never a situation where it's like, mm, I think I should probably eat less greens. I think I'm having a bit too much chlorophyll. Plant chlorophyll is like a blood transfusion. Kale and dandelion are the most difficult to blend. They just, they're just tough. Celery is one of the easiest to blend. I don't know why, it's just the way it goes. I'm gonna max out the oats because that's the last of them. Plantains were nice with rice. Much less bitter. Completely different to the, the so thistle and the dandelion. I'm trying to think how to describe it. Kinda got a dark green chalky, heavy, dense texture to it. A bit like stinging nettles. But if you've never eaten stinging nettles, then that wouldn't mean anything to you either. It's just this kind of earthy, dirty, dense, heavy, like some real nutrients there, but not really, not sour. It's great. Less sour than kale. It's more enjoyable than kale. So thistle should be more like in an emergency. I won't be doing that again in a hurry. Primroses, that's another one. Everyone knows what a primrose looks like, right? Which nothing like a rose. And it grows out of the ground, similar shape to a plantain or a dandelion. You totally can't mistake primrose for anything else and they're totally edible they're not just pretty flowers that your grandma has in the garden or whatever they're actually wild edibles I haven't seen any here but I know if you're in England 
you'll be seeing primroses about now. You can eat primrose leaves, roots, and flowers. You can eat the whole plant. Blend them, boil them, cook them up, make a primrose cake, I don't know. Get more greens, more greens, it's good advice. All right? Santa says, eat more greens. I see millions of motivational speakers that speak to the rich, that speak to the successful. I said, who speaks to the broken? Who speaks to the individuals that's still in the process? Who speaks to the individuals that doesn't want to live anymore? Every motivational speech you ever heard, I was talking to myself and I was telling my story. But through all the chaos and all the pain, God built a warrior, dropping it for you. That person that want to give up on his life, I'm, I'm dropping it for you. That person that don't know that they have greatness inside of them, I'm dropping this for you. <laughs> okay, I just left what I thought was a park, but apparently it's not a park. It's like a kid's school. So I was gonna like, work out, drink water, and the police showed up, they've called and said there's a guy here drinking out of our hose. <laughs> so, uh, my mistake, I'm gonna keep going this way. He was cool enough, he was like, you don't sound like you're from here. So I said, I'm making a film, I'm running across America. You'd already seen me running down the road. But there's no sign that says, this is a school. To me, it just looked like a perfect play park to do pull-ups and whatever. And some benches, which I tried to charge my phone. There were some plugs that didn't work. But yeah, another policy enforcement encounter. But no one seems to be trying to stop me from running, which is good news. He was friendly enough. I told him what I'm here to do. He said, you've got a long way to run. Still to go, you know, to get to California. That's some of the smallest watermelon I've ever seen. <laughs> Six, seven bucks, we'll get one of those massive ones. I'm very disappointed. These bananas, way too green. Pineapple, three bucks. Oh. <laughs> and it's been coated with all kinds of crap too. Wow, disappointing, very disappointing. Okay, it looks like I'm going in McDonald's. There's, this is the only Wi-Fi that works, so I feel like I should buy something. This will be the first time I've stepped in a McDonald's for as long as I can remember. Years and years and years. I don't know what I can buy. What can I buy? <laughs> this is so weird. I just feel like... You know like if, when you're unfamiliar with a place, it's like... I just, I just feel so unfamiliar. There's just nothing on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the menu and it's like, um... Um... <laughs> Alright. It is just a massive load of fries. See the difference between a good player and a great player. See that good player does just the minimum to get by. That great player 
pushes his body past the limit. He leaves every single drop of blood on the field. And whatever he does in life, he wants to be remembered as the greatest. He does that extra 10 when a coach only asks for 20. He runs that extra mile when a coach only asks for five. All righty then. It's living outside McDonald's day two. <laughs> the day after the day before when I arrived. So I'm gonna leave that charging. The solar power bank has been amazing. I was on the phone earlier, Skyping, video calling, whatever, and I totally just had power. I just ran it, the cable, into the sun while I sat in the shade. It's starting to get warm again. You can tell it's spring. And uh, it's very comfortable in my outdoor office. McDonald's crew, totally cool. Brittany and, and friends. Uh, we've all made friends, they took selfies. Word seems to have gone around, like even when I went in the supermarket, there was a girl who was working there. She's like, you Seb? And I'm like, yeah, my name is Seb, this is the cam. <laughs> She's like, can I get a picture? Are you Are running across the world or something? So that was cool. It was a fun, it's a fun feeling to be a minor celebrity in a small town. <laughs> so next up, more juice that was buy two juices for three bucks or something so I've had one already juice and grass plantain grass I'll put it in the blender it just tastes like grass so this morning I made a really good honest awesome talk with the camera exited the bushes where I slept after filming the classic time-lapse where I collapse the hammock only to realize at the end of the whole conversation which was a really good chat that the camera was flipped the other way around it was in like selfie mode no one ever looks the only thing that catches me out is dogs Dogs have a brilliant smell, hearing, and straight away they're like, rough, 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 rough. Even if they can't necessarily see me for sure, they know something's there. So there's like super heightened awareness of dogs, but the owners are stupid. The owners are like, shush, stop making that noise, stop barking. The actual video, I totally screwed it up. Womp, womp, womp. Right, I'm gonna get my blender out and have some Apple, oats, and grass. <laughs> no one seems to mind. I don't really want fries. I was just paying to kind of uh, pass as a, as a customer, but it doesn't seem to matter. Right, peace. Being broke is a mindset. That's something that you put inside your head that's something that you tell yourself every single day. Because many of you guys don't know, I do not write speeches. Everything I do is from the heart. So what I did was I truly believed that I have something special to give this world. And I want you to know that you have something special to give this world. Don't, don't ever believe that the lack of funds is the reason why you're not being successful. This is not true. The lack of belief is why you're not successful. Every single human being on this earth is a walking million dollar check. And our belief in ourselves, our grind, our true grit to wake up every single day and tell ourselves and tell the world that I will be something special is what separates you from everyone else. I learned 
that when I stop being envious of people and stop judging people and stop being angry that I'm not on their level is when I truly started to elevate in my career. Check that out. I randomly found this quarry and the first thing I thought was, ooh, this would be a nice peaceful place to chill. Found some spot for the hammock. Found a big rock where I could put the belt. It was just about ready. It's good I didn't pull the hammock out, I suppose. Just about ready to call it home. Thinking I can dip my feet, have a wash. And then some people showed up fishing. And they were like, oh, hi. They didn't seem bothered that I'm there. This seems a kind of public area. So I had no idea that was there. I just randomly walked up this locked, desolate driveway to discover a cool kind of quarry. But the combination of random strangers fishing, don't really like to be around fishing, don't approve of fishing, and mosquitoes. Like, I've been pretty mosquito free and gotta say I've been loving it. Been enjoying, oh my nipples hanging out. Whew. Really the last time I remember mosquitoes being bad was somewhere in Georgia. Peach world and all of that sort of marshy, swampy time. And it was that time of year too where they were still alive. But up here, I've been able to have like complete freedom to relax and just go, ah, nothing's gonna bite me, make me itchy. <sighs> I say that, something's landing on my face. I'm not gonna stay here with the fishing people and the mosquitoes. I'll just get up and leave. So that's the story of the campsite that never happened. That's the gate. I just figured I would see what's down there. Now, to be fair, these trees are suitable right here. There's nothing much stopping me. Just ducking in here. Hey. Tread very carefully. Uh, I guess we'll sign off for now, for tonight. You're not gonna see much, it's getting dark. So I'm just gonna put the hammock up. Should have time to do some editing. These rocks here seem pretty cool. I like that. You can sit on a on a rock. Ah, huh. it's clean, bug free, dirt free. Right, I need my hands. I'm signing off. My name's Seb. This is the Cam Boom. This is Seb Cam. Good morning, little buddies. Good morning, buddies. I just woke up to some cow friends. Hey, everyone. Hi. I didn't know you live here. Good morning. Hello. Hey, little buddies. good timing at least they didn't arrive at like five in the morning and disturb my snoozing it's about seven something maybe eight now and I just heard some cracking sticks crack crunch crunch I think oh footsteps someone's on their way someone's seen the hammock and it wasn't someone it was cow friends and they were like went oh. when they saw me unzip the hammock and look out they went oh. they seemed shocked they didn't know i was in there why would they i suppose why would they expect and they've probably never seen a hammock before with a person inside <laughs> so it's a pretty cool way to wake up actually like they didn't bother me they just came and watched we're very inquisitive about the whole thing the whole family, 
came and stood around, looked at the man in the hammock, and then they moved on their way, munching grass, crunching through the trees. This life is a paradox, a mirror of confusion, love now. Yo, I found this on this beautiful lake. We've made it to Dayton. Dayton is a big town with a Taco Bell. Yes, that's where I'm going right now. Taco Bell. I think it would be good to have a hotel because there's some laptop work I got to do. I don't really need it. I've discovered there's a place with plugs. Totally beautiful. Lots of benches. Could live here for a few days. I'm gonna do a workout. then we have power this is a good spot right here beautiful lake benches probably water somewhere and good phone signal noted then ice yeah I can ice myself I don't have any real pain but why not get some ice it's included bug in here. Hey buddy, you should go outside. Go out the door, that way, no, that way, ah, that's the door. That's the door, yes, that's the door, no, there, that's the door, go out the door. Go out the door, that way. I think we did it. Yes. <laughs> yes. This is as uncomfortable as it looks. All right, check this out. All of this Taco Bell. I'm gonna leave it in the bag so it kind of keeps it warm, but there's a lot there. Yes. Look at everyone's favorite TV series. Seb Cow. <laughs> yeah.